Hello and welcome back to Universe Sandbox 2. Today we are going to be taking a deeper dive into the internals of Universe Sandbox 2 in order to give a planet cities. So, all, uh, well, credit for this video is going to the Gentleman Deoxys on my last uh, big video, which was spinning Earth to death in Universe Sandbox 2. Go check that out and go check him out because he actually uh, was the one who first figured out how to do this. So, we've got Universe Sandbox 2 open and our first step is to find a planet with cities. So, if this takes longer than about one minute, I'm going to just do it off video. But maybe we will get lucky and this won't take years. We're going to just go to planets, grab a random rocky planet, zoom in go to still mode and place one so here is our first planet we're going to zoom into it no cities that would have been lucky and we're going to continually place these planets for well until we get one with city lights so this may take a little while but this is essential huh Wait a second, that, I think, under the water. No, was I just seeing things? Nope, I was just seeing things, okay. So, we're going to go, and we're going to continue placing these until we find a planet that actually does have lights on it. Which will be somewhere. I don't know where, but somewhere. Nope, that's not proper lights. That is just reflections off of mountains confusing us. Okay, we've got to be getting close to something. It's always around the 50 mark. And if it takes too long, I will cut this out. But this is pretty much the process you are going to go through if you're trying to do this too. And to make sure you do this part on the shoot is that no do this on the solar system simulation because it seems to be much more common to happen when it's around a star so at this point we're getting a little bit into the point of this is going to take a while um so let's just try a little bit more and then i'm going to cut until i get one that does have lights the lights actually do not look like the mountains like this. These look kind of irregular. The lights actually do look like cities. They are perfect circles, and usually they are yellowish, even if the planet itself is not. And I think we are going to cut now until we actually find something. So... I will see you guys when I actually do find something. Oh! Oh, never mind. Here we go. How lucky. Here is our planet with lights. Here's all of our planets that don't have lights. We're going to delete these. Zoom in. Delete these. And delete the last few. So we were successful in finding a planet with lights. And this is step one on our quest to putting these lights on any planet we want. So we're going to just name this AAAA to make this easy to find later on. And then we're going to do, click on it, do actions, and we're going to do save this object, and we're going to save. So this is our light planet. So let's make the planet we want to put the lights on. And let's make it, um, let's just get a random rocky planet, plop it down, and we're going to name it Lights. So if we name it Lights, we'll give it, why not, a little bit of water. Something just hit it. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that. Come on, water. I'm not actually getting any liquid. Okay, there we go. It was just a bit too warm from that collision. Let's turn it down and restart. And there we go. 
So we're going to put lights on this planet. So let's save it. And now we have two planets, our light planet and our non-light planet. We're going to keep Universe Sandbox 2 open, but we're going to open a folder. So open up whatever file manager you have in one second. Okay, so we are going to go into our documents and through all of my secret stuff We're going to find universe sandbox 2 We're going to go into bodies and first we're going to find a a a a because it's pretty much at the top of the list I forgot numbers come first um, And you can either use uh, winrar or says it uh, says in <laughs> seven zip Jeez, I almost messed that up a second time. 7-Zip, or any other archiver to open it as an archive. Now, when you do this, there will be a few files. We're going to have body.json, thumbnail.png, and version.ini. All you want to mess with is body.json. So, we are actually going to close Universe Sandbox 2, because I think it'll be easier to show you guys with it closed. So, let's close that. And what we're going to do now... Is we're going to admire my wonderful background and we're going to drag body.json here and we're just going to replace it because I've done this before okay so here we go here's body.json and that is uh, the first file we need we can close this for now now we're going to go to lights if we can find the one we're trying to give it to oh AAA was the then we're going to name this uh, source or something so we know it's the source of the lights. Now we're going to go to lights, which is the planet we want to give lights. And I can find this. There it is. Now we're just going to 7-zip open archive. We're going to grab the body from that and plop it here. And I will be right back. I have to uh, let a dog in the house. Okay, so now we have both bodies, and they are named properly. They can't be the same name or else they'll try to override each other. That's why I renamed one. And now we get to the work. So I heavily suggest you download Notepad++ for this. It makes life a million times easier. So what I'm going to do is close everything I already have open in Note++. That was a private key for something which I probably shouldn't show, but I think that is an important. I will check later on. Oh, geez. Okay, all my tabs are now closed on here, and we are going to open source.json. I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce that. JSON or JSON or JSON or whatever you want to call it. Then we're going to open body.json. This is the one we want to end up with lights, and this is the source. So, believe it or not, we are not going to go from source to body. We're going to go from body to source, because I've been unsuccessful in getting the lights from one onto the other. It's better to just go from one that already... Uh... Actually, let's try it, because the numbers here look a little bit different than when I tried it on Spook Vooper, which is my personal planet. So we're going to try this because it may just be because the planet I'm trying it on is from an older version of Universe Sandbox 2. So, we are going to go down here and we are going to look. And there is a category here called Light Power. We're going to grab this, we're going to copy it, and we're going to paste it into the planet we want to give uh, lights. So if we can find Light Power, we're going to replace it with this giving it a lot of power. Now we have to give it a texture to actually light up. So we're going to scroll down to Planet Cities here, which should be Emissive Map Source. We're going to copy this uh, here, and we're just going to go Emissive Map Source, and boom. Now, if all goes well, this should work. That should be all we have to do. So, now we're going to go back to lights, we're going to open it with 7-zip, we're going to delete the body.json already in there, and we're going to drag the new one in, uh, effectively replacing its file. 
We're going to reopen Universe Sandbox 2, play it, and pray that this works properly. So, we'll see what happens if this game actually wants to start. Come on. We believe in you, Universe Sandbox 2. We believe in you. Okay, so... We have started Universe Sandbox 2. Let's make a new simulation and let's find lights. And if this worked, I'm going to start clapping a little bit. Lights, camera, action! It worked! Yes, look at that. We have given lights, lights. And that is all due to the greatness of um, the dude who actually told me about how to open the file. And look at that. What we can actually do is, I'm pretty sure it updates this in real time. Uh, so what we can do is actually, we can keep this here. We can pause. And let's edit a few things about the lights while we're at it. Let's drag this over. And let's go down to, there should be light color. And we're going to set this to blue. So we're going to set it to a slightly greenish blue. Um, so this is okay. Opacity, so you want this to be 255 so it's visible. This is blue. We're going to set this to 255 and green we're going to set to 130 which should give us a nice uh, uh, kind of lightish blue cyan mix. And now we're going to go to light power and we're just going to turn this up. We're going to double it and we're going to look at the difference between the two planets. So now we're going to open our file manager. Shoot. Okay. I can do this. I'm capable. We're going to go into our file manager. Go back down to Universe Sandbox 2. Bodies. And we're going to go into Lights. Which is right here. Once again, open it with 7-zip. Delete the current body. Cl go in here. Go to Desktop. Find our body here drag that in confirm and let's see the difference now if we edit once again is there a difference do I need to reload the game to see the difference these are all good questions now it looks pretty much the same so we're going to try reloading the game so we're going to exit universe sandbox 2 re-enter universe sandbox 2 and see if it's changed now i don't think the light color variable is actually being used yet and the light power variable may not do much yet but i do know at least light power does something because it needs to be extremely high or else lights do not appear so let's create a new simulation and plop down lights and we should have lights camera action it doesn't look much different i will be honest now we only doubled that number so let's try going much higher let's try going plus 20 e plus 20 that's a few orders of magnitude higher and let's try this one more time going into here going into if only it was actually in my recent um, that's there. Okay, so we just go back, documents, universe sandbox 2, bodies, and then we can go back to lights, open with 7-zip, boom, delete, yes, and we can go quick access, and body is here, confirm, and let's see. If this actually changed anything... That would be pretty awesome. If not, you know, yeah. Oh, shoot. I thought it was paused. Um, okay, we just annihilated that. So, yeah, I don't see much of a difference whatsoever. We're going to try restarting the game one more time. And if there's no difference, we're just going to stop here. And, I mean, we did finish our original goal we succeeded in adding cities to a planet in a reasonable amount of time in a way that anyone could do
well, anyone who has WinRAR and Zevinzip and possibly Notepad++ if they want it to be nice and clean. And so, let's see. New, add, and where is lights? I don't know if that looks different. I think the lights individually may be a little bit brighter. I can't tell. But guys, yeah, actually they are. I think. I think I actually made it look a little bit odd here. Unless that's just the height map interacting with it. Well guys, thank you for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you really enjoyed this video. And yeah, that was pretty legit. I will see you all next time.